we have made it out to one of my favorite secret tidal creeks that is just loaded with megalodon shark teeth and other unique marine fossils. I'm here today with my brother and my fiance and we are about to find a ton of shark teeth. All we gotta do is start digging. You got some teeth, brother? Yeah, I got a decent first sift. It's your first sift? Let me see what you got. Ooh, we got a handful of teeth in one sift. That's what's really cool about this location is that almost every single sift oh, yeah. is gonna have shark teeth. But if you notice something interesting, cat over here is in a wetsuit because it's 50 degrees. I'm in a wetsuit because it's 50 degrees. But my brother over here, what are you wearing, Justin? A leather jacket, pink shorts, and are those? Those, those are, are sandals. sandals. Yes, my feet are very cold. It's 50 degrees, man. Nice little. Nice hemi. A little hemi. Cool. We're gonna be on a lot of teeth today. We are gonna be on a lot of teeth. Justin says he has an unknown object and he wants to show me. It has interesting pattern on it, but I can't tell what it is. It's got like a bunch of small circles, almost like scales. Rotate it down a bit. Oh, that's a fish jaw. I don't know what species, but that's a fish jaw for sure. It's a mouth plate or? Yeah, it's a mouth plate. All those little round things are basically its teeth and it used that to crush small invertebrates. Mm. Yep. Cool Ooh. little find though. Put in my pocket. Put in your pocket, your little fossil pocket, and get back to digging. I'm gonna have so much problem with my pocket. I don't like this spot. You don't like this spot? Let's give it a little bit more and we can move. It's kind of deep and gross. Tides are coming up. Yeah, I know. If tide's coming up, we're gonna have to head to a shallower spot anyway. So the gravel that we're looking for and that's in this shovel is phosphate rock and that phosphate rock was here on the bottom of the ocean floor during the Miocene and Oligocene and it got phosphatized they were just limestone nodules or other random bits of rocks and they got phosphatized by minerals coming from an upwelling zone and what also was on the bottom of the ocean floor were the remains of marine animals like shark teeth and stingrays and those also got phosphatized and you'll find them mixed in with all of this gravel. Now that is not a fossil. That is a brick. Bye brick. Let's go through this. So if you notice, my sift has a lot of vegetation. The vegetation is gonna be lighter than the rock. So what we can do is we can push the sifter down and move it forward. And we can get some of that vegetation out of the sifter and make it easier for us to find stuff. Just a little tip for you guys. Looking to find your own shark teeth in the future. All right. Let's see if we got any teeth. Got an interesting vertebrae right there. Cool trace fossil. Another awesome trace fossil. Oh, there's a tooth. Yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty tooth. Ooh, in right there. Teethies. So the water level's gotten up a bit. We're gonna move on to a shallower spot, but I wanna show you all some of the species of shark we managed to cover in just a couple sifts in this location. So right in the center of the frame, we've got some of my favorite teeth. These are snaggletooth shark teeth. We've got the false tiger shark right here, Physogallius contortus. We've got the modern tiger shark, Galeocerdo cuvier. We've got a chunk of a megalodon tooth. We've got a chunk of an angostidin tooth. We've got some false makos and mako relatives. We've got requiem sharks right here. A lot of different species and a lot of different teeth for just two sifts. All right, let's move on to spot number two. You go ahead of me in case of gators. In case of gators. So I have to be the sacrificial pawn that walks through this boggy, swampy creek that has no flow. Yes. That sounds great. It looks like they're struggling over so here. Cold and those are so cold. So cold. This is why we don't normally do this in winter. I can't feel my toes. It's only been like 30 minutes. I can't still feel them. I told you to get something warm. I didn't have anything warm. <laughs> oh, it's got shallow at least here. All right, I'll go back in front. All right, we're getting pretty close to the second spot, but this is not easy moving, I would say. Oh, just nailed this log underwater. That did not feel great. Watch out for this log. It's completely buried. Oh, there's a nice tooth right there. Nice tooth? Or small one, yeah. Go grab it. This is 
that's where I found that nice one last time. Yeah. yeah. Up what? here on the wall. It's right by it. Is that a nice tooth? Uh -huh. Oh, bring it over. That's he a sweet tooth. His brother. Justin, you're pretty lucky here. You found some nice teeth. Like, the teeth here aren't always the greatest quality because of the tidal action. But Justin's found some really high quality pieces. Yeah, I just looked at the bank and saw the triangle, but it's really dirty, muddy, because it's been there for a while. Let me see if I can clean it up a little bit. Let's look at that tooth. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that Does color. it have cusp? Nah. No, so it's got one color. there a little bit. Oh, so it is an Angostitan. The precursor to Megalodon. Nice little tooth. Let's go get more of that. For those of you who do want to do this, remember, you're going to have to deal with the boggy swamps like this on a pretty much daily basis. Why is he carrying all your stuff? Yeah, I know. I just noticed Justin's carrying a lot of stuff. He's what carrying if... all your stuff. Hey, he's a good brother. I know. It's such a burden. Good work, Justin. Nice. You owe that man lunch. <laughs> I think I do. And some warm clothes. I can't believe it. He chose this life though. Like I couldn't, I didn't have to dress him. <laughs> like that's not my job. It's not Sharice's job stick either. In your hair. I got a stick in my hair? Yeah. Oh jeez. Alright, tell me guys, do I have a stick in my hair? I can't tell. Apparently I do, I guess. Watch out! Yeah, this is all gravioli. We're just walking on lots of gravel. Let's start digging before the tide comes all the way up. I like this setup where I can have the sifter attached to my shovel and that way this is always near that and it will not float away, hopefully. We ain't leaving until somebody finds something good. Oh, that's a good gravioli. Ooh, more good gravioli. Oop, sifter's sinking. That means I need to sift it. Yeah, I also feel like the teeth in this spot have been transported a lot more than over there. And so they're not going to be as in good of shape. Ooh, nice Mako. Oh, you got a half? Let me see. Oh, heartbreaker. Yeah. Little halfer. There you go. Yeah, so the gear over here is about to get swamped. When we first got here, there was only a thin channel right here. And now it's all the way up. And this is about to get flooded. And there won't be much area to put anything. So we'll have to get out of here in just a second. Can you grab the thing out of my teeth? Huh? Can you grab the thing out of my teeth? What? Thanks. I guess we can dig a little bit here, but it is high already. Oh, you got some teeth? Yeah, broken. You got a couple of teeth, Cat? Nice, finding them surface collecting. That's a pretty one up here. Mm -hmm. Good shark teeth. Ooh. Shark tooth, Gremlin, we gotta keep moving. Smaller teeth are hard to get because you're more interested in trying to find bigger stuff. So Did you even hear me? Stop picking up shark teeth. We gotta move. You gave me a bag. I'm feeling it. Well, we definitely found a few more teeth. A lot of teeth for just an hour. But we are getting swamped out. The creek is raising. Oop, I'm about to fall, brother. The creek is all the way, all the way up. Where the gear was over there is completely buried. So we are gonna have to get out of here. We might try one more spot real quick and get some nice breakfast going on and hopefully we find something there. Got another tooth? Yeah, I think so. It's so worn. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. I've made it into the new spot. Justin's run off somewhere ahead of us and Kat claimed it was too cold to get back in the water. So I'm gonna go find Justin and see if there's a couple teeth in this creek we can pick up before we have to head home. Well, that's a very big snake. No thank you. You've been dead for a little bit. Let's hope there's no live ones to attack us. It looks like a few different people have been out here digging before. I just think Bone's here. Justin has some of the host rock and he's busting it apart to see if there's any teeth in it. Oh, that big one spit below it. That's where you'd find a nice tooth though. It might actually be worth sifting. So we've been breaking apart that giant boulder and Justin just got super lucky. Look at that tooth. It's perfect and it's orange. Clean that one up, get it out of the matrix. That's awesome. Justin, you're crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. That is pretty. Keep cleaning it. Yeah, look, that's perfect. That is such a gorgeous tooth. That's a trip maker. That might be the best tooth you found, color-wise and 
condition wise like that's older than the megalodon teeth we find that's 24 million years that's an angostitan the precursor the shark that evolved in the megalodon show the little cusps so they still had these fish catching adaptations on the corner of their teeth right here a group of raised serrations near where the enamel reaches the root and that's actually a fish catching adaptation and by the time megalodon evolved they no longer needed it and you don't see it in the megalodon teeth that is a wicked tooth that can is... i see it mm -hmm. wow wow justin i am jealous right now that is a wicked angostitan tooth that's as nice as they get justin you lucky dog yep you lucky dog you're not even that excited you're still cold it's a little cold. It's pretty good. I want to find another one. Too. You want to find another one? All right. Well, I want to find one too. That's sick. That is so cool. Good find, Justin. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty. Wow. That makes it worth it. That makes the other creek totally worth it. That's crazy. I just managed my own little tooth in the matrix. Justin's still breaking apart matrix over here. But I'm pretty sure that that is a Physogallius contortus tooth, the false tiger shark and it looks like it's in great shape. So I'm gonna leave that in the matrix for now and I'll bust it out of there in just a second. But I still got some matrix to bust up by hand over here. Come on, rock, break me off a crumb of one of the nice teeth. Preferably the whole thing. We didn't expect to find this little deposit. So like, this is cool. Let's take advantage of it and see if we can't get another one of those Ingestiden teeth. Cause I'd be wicked if we could get a pair. Cat's gonna be so jealous though if we come back. <gasps> Justin, 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 I don't know if it's whole. Oh, it's busted. Where's the missing piece to this? Look right there. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, get the camera. What happened to the other piece of clay? Yeah, you just probably broke it off like real. I know. Oh. Because it had the root part on it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's cool. That is cool. So I was just looking over here and I found a Meg. That is a reworked Meg. And look at the little impression, the negative in the clay. But there are big teeth in these little blocks that we keep looking through. And that is pretty cool. So we'll spend a little bit more time here. We did not expect to find these. That's awesome. I love finding these big shark teeth. It's in such beat up condition though, but that's cool. Cat will not understand what's going on when we go back. Let's find another one. Let's find another one. This gravel size, see how big some of these pieces yeah. are? That's like one giant chunk. That's where you find big teeth. And that's why Justin found his Angostitan there. And while we're finding shark teeth in here is you've got a good size class. Oh man, I'm so jealous that your tooth was like perfect and I was all beat up. When we get back, we're gonna have to show that tooth to Cat. Oh, there's a tooth, just a tip of one. See one too? Yep. Shamer. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of these poorly mineralized teeth where their roots have been dissolved by acids that have flowed through this rock, but we found a couple nice keepers and we'll still use this caveman style until it stops working. There's something slightly peaceful about it, huh? It's out here in the woods, breaking apart rocks with our bare hands, like jungle creatures, like swamp children. Gator tooth? Yeah. It'd be crocodile for where we're at in the Chandler Bridge. That looks more like a coral than a gator tooth. Yeah, it's coral. Yeah, it's coral. But that is another broken piece of an either an Angostitan or a Meg. I'm taking a closer look. And that's not a Meg, it's just a poorly preserved Angostitan, really beat up, but still a cool tooth. I'm gonna keep looking, brother. Is that your go-to? Yeah, smile. Point the camera at Justin, smile. Justin smiles. Yep. <laughs> Such a cool little creek. It's funny that just in that boulder that you walked by, there's a tooth. Like, can you imagine what's in all the different boulders in this creek? There's probably so many teeth in here. Someone's gonna come over here after we busted all these open, they're gonna find a big old tooth. Yeah, wow, we missed. I uh, know. What'd you get? Oh, that would have been a nice tooth. It's just the skeleton of one. There's that little bit of tooth piece that was stuck in that rock we just showed you. It's got serrations on it, but didn't make it through. The insides of these things don't always fossilize, but the outside's appetite. So it's got preservation bias. It normally survives the sedimentation process. But that guy's still trying. Don't hurt yourself. He's in sandals, y'all. That still is driving me nuts. Well, all these boulders have stuff. Yeah, we could spend the whole day just busting open boulders and probably found a couple of nice teeth. Yeah, the first two boulders found one tooth in each. Yep. But we gotta go. 
We gotta go, unfortunately. We gotta go. Yeah, so that just goes to show that sometimes you just get lucky hunting these low country creeks. We weren't gonna take home much from today's hunt. The first spot was crap with the tidal creek and then we drove a while to come here and we got lucky. Justin found this insanely amazing Ingestiden shark tooth. Perfect quality as a keeper. And we got a bunch of other little broken Ingestidens, a nice contortus, that shamer, which is cool because it's actually got a negative. You rarely ever see anything like that. But even though that was a short hunt, I am thankful that we got out fossil hunting. And I'm even more thankful for all of you that join us on these videos. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And as always, keep on digging science. Check out what Justin found. Show her. Show her the goodie. Mm -hmm. A nice tooth, isn't that's it? That's a pretty tooth. And that's the clunker I found. That was nicer. I know it's nicer. All right, let's go get in the car. Let's go get some Waffle House? Yep. Waffle House.